Good morning, YouTube. This is Mary once again. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers. We all are lovers, so have a happy Valentine's Day. I just want to come on and make a quick video. It's raining real bad this morning, but uh, I've got to get out in it. I got some business I have to take care of this morning. But I just wanted to come on and talk a little, a little bit more about myself and what I actually believe. A lot of people, well, not a lot of people, just a few people, because I don't know a lot of people. The few people who knew me from when I was back in a church seem to be kind of concerned that I'm on my way to hell because I have left the church and they think that I have left God. But I managed to get a few words in edgewise to uh, uh, a Christian that I knew. And she was uh, telling me about how I was had left God and I shouldn't have done that and I need to go back to God. And and I t she said, Mary, you just don't believe in God no more. And I, I've, I told her, I said, you know, that's true. I don't believe in God. I know God. So... She kind of looked funny when I said that, but I do know God and I do worship God. I don't worship any deities or anything. Or pray to the Mary, the mother of Jesus, or even though I have a few statues on my altar. I don't worship them. And if I did, I mean, people that have to worship deities, I guess that's what they have to do. But I haven't found the need to do that. So... I, uh, I'm just married by myself, me and God on this journey. And I hate to say that, that I have left God, the, the God that I used to know. In fact, I guess the God that I used to know have changed too. We both have changed because it, it, it the way I see religion, it doesn't work for me anymore. And what I know now works. And I do, I still pray, and I still get nervous, and I still have fears. I I had to um, go through something this weekend. I don't know if it was the full moon phase or whatever, but it was total madness around my apartment this weekend. And uh, I'm the type of person I can't deal with stress, but my neighbor, he's a wife beater, and he likes to beat his dog, but he and his his wife, a girlfriend, a significant other, whatever she is, they had a terrible fight this weekend, and I can't stand all that. And it sounded like he were, they were coming through the walls fighting like that, and it upset me so I couldn't hardly breathe. And so the police finally came, and I don't know what they said to him, but they got quiet after that. I don't even know if they arrested him, but I finally got myself and Sunny quiet down because Sunny is just like me. I transferred my energy to her and she was upset. So we finally got quiet down. It was like probably 12 30 before we went to sleep. But lo and behold, at about 2 30, the neighbor on the opposite side, bam, 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 the wall started shaking again. I could hear cursing and fighting. So they started fighting at 2 30 in the morning. So I went through this weekend fight with people fighting on both sides of me. But in all of that, I said all that to say that the comfort that I had to find, I had to actually pray and ask God to give me some kind of peace. And it wasn't that I, in the in the uh, point of praying, wasn't that I felt that God wasn't going to answer me because I'm not I'm not going to church. It was just that I was so consumed with fear till it was hard for me to feel comforted by the spirit of God. So I, uh, my friend, a friend of mine called me and she said, Mary, you're just going to have to calm down, calm down. Just take deep breaths because they're not going to knock on you. My biggest fear is they're going to knock on my door and he was going to kill her. All sorts of thought, thoughts are running through my head, but I, I'm going to have to do some serious praying or some serious candle lighting or something because things are going to change around this apartment where I live. On both sides of me, these people are fighting. And these women, I don't understand how they have these men that beat on them and they have to fight. And then the next hour or so, it's all quiet. Y'all fighting and then you're making love. I don't I don't get that. 
I guess when I was young, I used to do that too. I can't remember that far back, so maybe, maybe I did do that kind of stuff. But God, I'm too old to be listening to that kind of stuff, and these walls are thin over here. I guess I should be living in a senior complex where you don't have to be bothered with that kind of stuff, but I can't seem to find uh, a place uh, that has the housing uh, and had vacancies. So it's it's hard to find a place for a suitable for for senior citizens, you know. But um, that's that's what I went through. But I had to hunker down and pray and and call on God, call on the God that I know to get me through this weekend. It was pretty rough. And even when I dialed 911, it went to voicemail for 20 minutes. And the police finally called me back and they said that they had a high high uh, call volume and that they, don't, they didn't know what was going on. Uh, that was on a Saturday night. There was so many calls till they couldn't take them all in. So it might have been <clears throat> coming from that comet, the full moon, and the eclipse. Something happened this weekend. But I made it through. So, anyway, I thought I'd make this quick video. Let y'all know I'm okay. And uh, I'm still hanging in there. And I still have my uh, in inquisitiveness about uh, the other things beside Christianity, I, I'm, I don't need to say witchcraft so much as people, some people don't even like that word, but my studies, I'm going to call it my studies with other, other sources. I'm learning from other sources and learning about myself. So I, uh, that's all I want to talk about. God, I'm going to have to get my glasses fixed because they, the adjustment on them is kind of off. Oh, one of my eyes are higher than the other or something. But anyway, the camera looks funny. But everything is still kind of dark because it's cloudy outside. But anyway, I'm going to go. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share. Bye.